There's one school resource officer to oversee all three schools in Farmington. In a report requested by Selectman, the police department issuing a list of safety concerns it says comes from a lack of communication and cooperation by the district. It came to light when realizing that we were getting a new uh, school resource officer next year. The current one had only been in there for this year. Looking back, we had changed school resource offices frequently. Parents sharing it online. I read the report and I'm horrified. You got to really wonder what's going on. The report points to interference with investigations, a lack of awareness of safety, disciplinary and reporting policies, and teachers telling the SROs that they don't feel safe. The report cites two recent examples, one involving an alleged student assault in late March. The SRO says it was parents who notified him, and when he followed up with administrators, he was informed there wouldn't be disciplinary action. He says this was an unprovoked attack, occurred while a student was talking with a teacher. The SAU attempted to justify the aggressive behavior because it said he was a stalker, despite no reports or information supporting this. Another involves an incident reported to the SRO by a teacher on March 29th, 10 days after it occurred. It involved a student grabbing a hammer and threatening to assault a teacher. The student also grabbed a plastic instrument and threatened the teacher a subsequent time. The SRO says he was never provided a report and that the teacher didn't feel safe. It's putting not only teachers at risk, but our students. The town administrator says he has 100% confidence in the police department's ability to keep the schools safe. The school board, meantime, which is a separate entity, got the actual report yesterday. Its chair issuing a statement saying it will look into some of those claims and that safety of students and staff is its highest priority. Live in Farmington, Jennifer Crompton, WMUR News 9.